hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator, and we are back with the Greenland DLC. Since I've been playing, I've managed to level up a little bit more, I've gotten a little bit heavier line, and with the last episode, after catching that giant barb, I think I might be able to catch some bigger fish out here. And we're going to check this out and see what's going on. If not, we may have to make a future investment. I'm going to try to find some of these bigger species here. I've got a couple of lures that should attract them. Okay, there we go. We're starting to get into a field of them here. Alright, let's go ahead. There's quite a few big guys out there. So let's go ahead and get out. Now, this particular lure I'm going to try to start off with. This is a hard lure. Uh, it's up to 7 knots, so that shouldn't get outlandishly big fish. But the uh, Arapaima, the Greenland, I mean the Greenland shark, the Goblin shark do go for it. Maybe we can get some of the smaller versions of those. At least that'd be a go. Of course, the Atlantic cod also go for it. Anyway, we're going to give this a try out here and see, first of all, what we've got swimming around out there. Looks like quite a few things. Can't really tell what they are or just how big they are. Well, over there we can. Let's give it a try over on this side. Now, I think... I can get a good lift and drop doing this. Whoa, that was fast. Definitely a codfish. Good size codfish. Yeah, this guy hasn't even started to turn around just yet. Starting to think that maybe all we have here is cod. Just really big ones. Yeah, the Atlantic codfish, they can I think they can exceed a hundred pounds. I gotta get this guy to turn around first of all. Okay, he's starting to give Of course, he's taken it out already 300 feet. Jeez. Not quite sure the limit of this particular spool, but... We have him. Alright guys, this is going to take a minute to get him in. Alright guys, he's in that 80 feet area where they sometimes bolt, so we gotta watch him. Alright, we've got him. There we go. $301, he weighs 45.69 pounds. It's not bad, not bad at all. Sell him. Let me take another look around here. Yeah, I'm not seeing... Well, that could be what we're after right there, guys. Let me... Let's see if I can't get the attention of something here. Let's see. 
Yeah, this kind of floats more or less on the surface, so... That fish did not hesitate to go after it, I'll tell you that. Alright, let's try that again. Yeah, there's a big fish out there if we could just get his attention. Let's take the speed down just a little. We'll just do a straight retrieve. You can't really do a st stop and go properly with this particular lure. Ooh, check him out. There you go, guys. We got him. I think this is what they call a goblin shark because he is ugly. <laughs> He's got that funny shaped head. This is going to pretty much stretch this gear to its limits though. Okay, he still taking it out. When he starts to give, which he hasn't yet. Okay, back off. Okay, I think we've got him. Almost. It's starting to get tired. Yeah, we're actually gaining on him a little bit now. This is going to take some finagling, guys. We got him, guys. We got him. Finally. That was quite the fight. Again, we better... Watch that he doesn't bolt. I'm going to take it down just a little bit in case he does. Get it down to like 43. This is going to be one strong fella. You got him. Well, you can't get really the best look at him, though. But that is a goblin shark, guys. Not the biggest, but still, 57.40 pounds. Now, we're going to release him in honor of my wife, who loves sharks. So that he can go free, and we can catch him another day. My wife has a big love for sharks, and any shark that I catch, I am going to release. I don't think I could catch that one, though. That one is a monster. <laughs> that has to be a Greenland shark. 
course, I don't even think he would go for this lure. It's probably too small. Let's take the tension down on that because they can snap that pretty quick if they grab it. This lure looks really good. I'm, I was shocked I was able to get one. Now we have another lure here we could try too. Let me see here. It is, it looks kind of like a squid. So let's take a look at that. Let's see. I think it's in the soft lures. Yep, there it is. This is a deep ocean P5H. See, looks like it goes, gets the Greenland shark, goblin shark, Atlantic halibut. Well, let's equip that and see what this one does. I think this one will sink. Yep, it is sinking, so that's good. Okay, let's try a slow, straight retrieve. Yeah, I'm thinking it's probably too deep to really do an effective stop and go. Lift and drop might work. Let me take that down a little bit there. The first one caught one fairly quick. Ooh, caught fish. I'm pretty sure this guy is a lot bigger than that last one. Okay, he's still taking it out. It's going to be close, guys. This guy must be one of the biggest ones I've caught. Let's see if we can break our record for Atlantic Codfish. I think this goes up to 500 feet, so I think we're still good. Not too much longer. Boy, this guy is not making it easy. Okay, I need to get this guy turned around like now. Okay, let's go to 700 feet. Okay, he's turning now. Whew. Finally. This guy has got to be... <laughs> this guy's got to be a record. At least for me, anyway. No, we don't want to take it up to the 100. That would be stupid. In fact, if anything, we need to take it down. As long as we're gaining on him. Now, I really have to watch this guy because these are the kind that really like the bolt. Like that one did, he was only 30 feet away. Okay, 
we got him. We got him. We got him. Whoa. No, he didn't break my record. Surprisingly. 85.18 pounds. I wish there was a way to change his camera angle. I don't think there is, though. You can barely even see him. He's just out of the camera range. Nope. Yeah, it's the only thing. I wish you could get a better look at him. <laughs> Let's go back to the front of the boat. Maybe we can get to a location where the fish are just a little bit bigger. Let's see. Yeah, we're starting to get out of the big fish range. There we go. I think we're in the midst of them now. Yeah, there we go. Check it out. There's a big old fish. I still got the way up. Yeah, I'd like to get one more big old fish. Damn. And that might have been him. Definitely Atlantic Cod. We're not even close to gaining on him. He is definitely keeping the pressure on this thing. Yeah, the last one was 85 pounds. I don't think this guy is quite that big. He isn't little, though. If I just was able to get a little bit heavier line, I think I could bigger fish in. Okay, he's finally starting to turn. Judging from how soon I was able to turn him around, I'm thinking 70 pounds maybe. Alright guys, he is almost in, but he did try to bolt. We gotta keep a close eye on him. I don't trust him. Yep, see? Whoa, okay. Yeah, he was he's bigger. 113.6 pounds. 674 cash. However, that big old guy has been very elusive. That has got to be a Greenland shark. That has to be a Greenland shark. And he just does not seem to be interested in this. It's just not big enough, apparently.
Let's switch over to the fourth rod here. Let me take a look at the specs here on this. It's got the same size line. 110 pound though. Yeah, we might be able to pull it off. Let's see here. Where is that fella? Mm. I'm thinking he might have moved on though. There's some fairly big fish out there, though. Let's see if these guys go for that. This is a nine odd hook. Might need to go another bit bigger. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go bigger. Let me check my hooks here. Yeah, let's do this. Let's put this one on there. Let's go full size here. 12 aught. Big as they go. Yeah, the 12 out I think is the biggest you can go of all the hooks. There we go. We got him. Now whether we'll get him, that's the question. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the size of this guy. Oh. This is him. Oh. Yeah, this is not going to go easy. He may be just outside of my boundaries here. He's not even slowing down. I'm going to keep doing that. We're going to fight this guy as much as we can. Nope, back off. I have a feeling this guy's gonna really make me wish I had heavier gear. <laughs> Let me change that angle here. He's going to spool me. Yep. I'm pretty sure he's going to spool me. Yep, he did. Damn it. Well, that was a first look at a Greenland shark from the rear. <laughs> yep. A little too big.
Okay, all we can really do is maybe saz down the hook. Let's try this 10 odd. Maybe we can catch a smaller run. It's really about all we can hope. That was definitely a shark. He had no problem taking that line out. Well, there's another one. Now this is a goblin shark. This is not a Greenland, I don't think. He doesn't look big enough. Yeah, him we might be able to get in. Okay, let's try to wear him out. Get to 86. He's starting to stagger a little bit. quite the fighters, aren't they? Yep, he ran a line too. They are just too big, guys. Well, shoot. Well, it was fun. <laughs> we had one. Just too big to catch. Apparently this hook's just a little bit too big still, allowing for a much bigger fish than I can catch the gear I have. Let's equip this here. Let's take this to a 9 up. Well, there we go. That's cool. We got us a halibut. I was hoping to get one of these guys. Now, I did catch a smaller version. I think it was a Greenland halibut, but... I think these are Atlantic halibut. Or I'm not sure. He's not small. But he's also not a shark. <laughs> he should be cut. At least I should have a chance to get him. He's turning finally. This must be a big fella. Whew. 
she he had me a little worried there he was getting almost to 600 feet looks like this thing goes to about 720 or 730 so I'm pretty sure we got him this time all right it's gonna take us again a little while to get him in but I'll bring him back when he gets closer All right, he hasn't bolted yet, but that doesn't mean he won't. Let's see how big this fella is. Not bad. At least you can see him a little better. Atlantic Helibut, 597, new record, 97.94 pounds. We will sell him as well. All right, guys. Well, we did catch one shark. We caught us a Atlantic halibut and a whole bunch of decent-sized codfish. We did hook into a Greenland shark, but he was not having any of it. <laughs> anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye bye. Alright guys, just before we leave I did want to show you. Apparently they still let you have a trophy even if you've released them. And there he is. That's the goblin shark. Couldn't get a good view of him before. 57.40 pounds. Not bad. Not bad at all. And there's... Let's see. I think we've got our codfish there. No, that's our... We did... Gosh, I didn't realize we caught one that was 191 pounds. That's big. But let me see. We have another one that's new. That is the halibut. I think he's down here. Yeah, there he is. That's a big fish too. 97.94 pounds. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and as I said before, I will see you later. Bye bye.